First and foremost, right here, right now, in this exact moment, thank you, God. I don't know about you, what you think, or what you think you know. In fact, we don't even have to believe in the same thing. What I do know is my truth. I am, was, and always will be a sinner. And you know what? There is nothing I can do about that, and I learned to accept it. I was born through the vessels my Creator chose for me to give me life and life experiences I would need to lead His crusade through a long, vigorous, dark, deep, and twisted battle. You see, I arose from the ashes a true phoenix, ready for every occasion, accepting every opportunity of advancement. I was always ready to learn, but I often found there weren't many capable that were truly there to teach. So I had to teach myself. With only a couple words of philosophies implanted by my father before his departure from my life at eight, my journey began. One of those things he used to say was cry, son. It builds character. Put some hair in your chest. So from an early age, I was taught it was okay to have emotions and I would cry out when needed. I quickly learned that emotions cannot interfere with business as I witnessed many men destroyed by anger, pride, jealousy, shame, or incompetence or some other personal conviction stemming from physical, mental, or sexual abuse. At the early age of 12, only four years after my father vanished, my mother threw me to the wolves and fed me to the streets. 10 o'clock p.m. on a school night, she physically kicked me out of the house in front of my two little brothers with nowhere else to go, no one else to call for help, no cell phone, no money, nothing but the clothes on my back as I walked in the shadows all night till I was so cold I had to seek shelter. Thank you God for the house party. The music was actually music to my ears. The lights and laughter was a sign of life. I snuck in unnoticed, made my way to the basement, fell asleep under somebody's clothes that were lying on the floor, clean or dirty, that kept me warm till morning, and I was off to school like everything was normal. I wasn't sure if I wanted anyone to know. I didn't even really know who I would tell if I wanted to. Only an hour or so into school, I'm arrested in the gym, walked out in cuffs with hands behind my back. My life takes a drastic turn at this point. Although not all bad, it does get pretty outrageous. I all of a sudden became somebody I had no idea how to be, but was brave enough to figure it out. I was stamped, stigmatized, labeled, cast away, whatever you want to call it, I was feeling it. No one will look at me the same from this point going forward. Not my friends, my non-friends, my teachers, the faculty, my principal. Everyone would start acting and treating me differently. What was a lost 12-year-old parentless kid to do? Of course, I acted the part. I did, said, and became exactly what they said I was. And I did so with style, making quite a splash and a not so glorious name for myself. My reputation was one to be honored amongst those in the same arena. Learning quickly the rules of Lincoln Hill School, I learned the art of power, respect, loyalty. From 14 to 16, I did more things than most adults do their whole lives. Some things not so good, others not so bad. Let's just sum it up and say that my GPA is 4.0 when it comes to the street experience. Being where I've been, doing what I've done, seeing what I've been shown, and having to wit through it all to always make the best of it no matter what, doing what I can with what I have became my way of life. So many things I am not proud of yet give me honor today to sit here in front of all of you and say I know what it's like. I know what it takes. I know what you're going through and I'm pretty certain I know exactly how you feel right now because I've been there. I too have shared the same thoughts of anger, rage, frustration, confusion, suicide, homicide, questions unanswered left with many knives in my back. What if I was to say to you, you were not wrong, they are. How you feel is natural 
it's normal. And you do not need prescription pills to be normal or fit into constraints or perversions of our society today. You can be you, a you that God intended you to be, a you that makes this world a better place, a you that makes those around you better, a you that is not all about you, but rather all about those that are all about you. Today is your day. Seize in it the victory. Take from it the gift of God's grace and mercy and pay it forward with an attitude of gratitude, knowing that you did your part and you played your position with righteousness, humility, integrity, honor, and respect. That's all we can do is continue working on becoming the best version of ourselves in order to procure and produce the best harvest known by mankind. So just take one last moment of silence and think, and keep in mind that this revolution starts with you. You, you, you are the one. You have been chosen. You have been pre-selected. You have already won. You may claim your victory. You may even sit on your throne, but only for a moment. There is still work left to do. Our children, they need us. And we need our children to hold us accountable, to remind us on how to view one another. No colors, no borders, no preconceived notions, pure hope and faith, innocence, possessing the imagination to build a perfect world together in whatever time we have left to do it, leaving only the best behind for our lineage to come. I sit here and say thank you. Thank you for listening. I cannot say I have it all figured out. I cannot say I have all the answers. What I can say is I will take a stand and make a world of difference, even if only affecting one person or saving the life of only one child. It will be worth every thought, word, action, ideal, or belief. Because up until this point right here, I wasn't so sure I'd be able to say the right things. Be the light, joy, happiness you seek, and what you seek shall find you. And remember, you are the reason hope lives in our children, and they are the curators of such infectious love, if only we can feed them from righteous trees. God, bless our world and everyone in it. Together, we are far greater than we will ever be alone. Thank you.